Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching some people color their hair blonde. They are going from black slash brown hair all the way up to the blondes. It's probably the sketchiest of all because it involves bleach, a lot of patience, and a lot of time. Most people have no idea what it takes. They rush it all, and it comes out like shit. But we'll see today. There's always somebody that just surprised the shit out of me. We get from point A to point B while going through like a million obstacle courses and the end result somehow is like beautiful. I don't know anymore. It really confuses me. It freaks me out a little bit, but I also hope to see a little bit of a fail today. Your boy needs a little laugh. Come on. <laughs> Give me a laugh. And we're repping the Live Your Extra Life merch today. Uh, ooh, oh, ooh, ee. Uh, oh, ee. oh my God, it feels so so right and good on my body. And it always reminds me to live my extra motherfucking life. I am giving all of you guys 20% off all my merch from now until April 30th. All you gotta do is click the link right down below and use the code YouTube20 at checkout. And thank you in advance for supporting my channel and supporting what I do. I really love you. Doo -doo -doo. Up first, we have a video by Tori Costell. My whole life, I've always felt like I was meant to be a blonde, but my mother disagreed and never allowed me to color my hair. The other day, my mother spontaneously suggested that we buy some box dye and give it a go. Here I was, in this aisle of beautifully haired women on boxes. No! <laughs> So I took my dream dye into my arms and ran away. I have some conditioner right here. And the next thing I'm showing you is... Okay, so we're using blonde box dye. I'm assuming that she has natural hair, like she's never colored it before because she was saying her mom didn't let her color it at all, which is good. Otherwise, this box dye will do literally nothing. But her hair is way too dark to go from there to that like blonde with just a box. Like she might get like an orangey blonde, but definitely not what they have listed on that box. Like there is no way. I'm sorry, but you need to use bleach for that. The color I chose was this eight and a half A champagne blonde. I don't know what that means, but I think it's gonna dye my hair. Level 10 is the lightest blonde. So eight and a half is like almost a nine. So it's almost the lightest blonde you can get. I would say that box looks like more of a nine, but um, I don't know. It's not gonna be ashy. <laughs> it's gonna be orange. In the car, I realized that it was actually permanent dye. I kind of thought it was gonna be like a couple of weeks of blonde hair, but uh, it's gonna be up to eight weeks. Okay. <laughs> You can't go blonde with semi-permanent hair color. And it's going to last not eight weeks. It's going to last until your hair fully grows out. You can't go from brown to blonde semi-permanently. You know, once you change your hair color to a lighter color, it is permanently lighter. You can go darker and have it be semi-permanent, but not lighter. So it says it's going to be taking my hair from this, which is about my color, to this. If it doesn't, L'Oreal Paris is going to see me in court. Here I'm just brushing out my hair, which always seems to be tangled no matter what I do. Then, using Brad Mondo's advice, I made this sad excuse for a middle part. Then, I attempted to section my hair into four different parts. We have a section queen today! Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it was time to take the tip off of one of the bottles. Then I took the cap off entirely to see what it smelled like. It actually didn't smell bad at all. Then I grabbed the product that I threw across my room earlier and got a good whiff of that too. Why is there conditioner all up in the front of her head? Let's not put conditioner on your hair like that because it will dilute the dye and make it less effective and probably it won't pick up very well in that spot. So don't do that. I realized that the conditioner I had put around my hairline earlier to protect my forehead was a bit much. So I frantically removed that with a paper towel. Thank you for getting rid of that. And then I got ready to use my squirt bottle. Ooh, here we go. There's no turning back. It wasn't going. No product was coming out. And when it did, I must say I was very shocked. So I applied it to my hair and made sure to cover every strand with some product. You know, the stuff smelled so bad, I can smell it through the screen. High lift color smells so bad toxic like it will burn these little nasal passages like it will you know what i mean like it hurts i'm also really happy that she's not starting at the root because with high lift color you will get hot roots which means your root will be like two shades lighter than your ends because of the heat from your scalp so don't do that if you're wondering why i'm not doing my roots first it's because 
Brad Mondo. You know, that's the answer to everything. But he said that the heat from your scalp will change the color and make it brighter, which is why so many people who start with their roots end up having an uneven hair color. Oh, <laughs> that was so beautifully said. Oh, my children, I'm so happy. <laughs> Except also, everybody's getting way too good at doing their own hair. I'm putting myself out of a job. As I was working through my hair, I was seeing no color. I was expecting it to be more of an orange and brassy color, but instead it was the same old brown. I was starting to get worried, but I just moved on to the next section. After I had finished with my ends and the middle section of my hair, I began to do my roots. All I can say is that no hair has fallen out, so I'm taking that as a good sign. If by some miracle Brad Mondo is watching this, I volunteer to be one of your Miss Mannequins. Just promise you won't decapitate me. Seriously, they all get great hairdos for free. Miss Mannequin is the only client that I take. I'm just kidding. But yeah, you know what? I won't decapitate your head. I will do your hair as long as you just act like Miss Mannequin. Like, so you can't speak, you can't move. It's my favorite type of client. Now, the direction said to wait for only 25 minutes and I ended up waiting for 50 and still saw no change. What the f- why did her hair not change at all? I mean, I wasn't expecting a huge difference, but I was at least expecting something to happen. That makes literally no sense, like at all. I didn't see any change in the coloration. When the bottom of my hair dried, it was actually looking lighter and I got extremely excited. Here is the final product. Oh. <laughs> express how happy I am at how it turned out. Ooh, yes girl, yes sissy. This is how it came out. It looks reddish on camera, but in person, it just looks like the same old brownish shade, just a little lighter. You must have had color on there beforehand. I'm calling you out on your bluff. You did something behind my back and I don't trust it. This time I used the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color. No! No, 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 no. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know what happened with the last color of your hair. Like, I don't know why nothing happened. I really don't. That was fucking weird. But also, you can't now color your hair again with permanent color. You need bleach. I'm sorry to break the news, but color doesn't lift color. So you can't put more color on and expect it to lift again. You can only do it once. So you're screwed. So I slipped on my gloves. Then I mixed the three products according to the directions and I applied it to my hair strand by strand. This is gonna be so sad. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm feeling so bad. I set a timer for 25 minutes. Once the 25 minutes had passed, I added an additional 10. I was already seeing some color change at this stage. However, I was noticing some patchiness with the coloring. I guess I didn't section as well as I thought I had. This is how the color turned out after I allowed it to air dry. It's a little brassy, but honestly, I was expecting a lot worse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it f cute? So you know exactly what this means. Oh my god, she's doing it again. Are you trying to break me today? Because I'm broken. I went strand by strand of my hair, meticulously coating them with the perfect amount of dye. By the way, I know you're thinking, Brad, her hair lightened. Color doesn't lift color. Okay, fine. You're putting ammonia on your hair. Obviously, it's going to do something. But technically, you're not going to get any really good results because color doesn't technically lift color. Okay, that is like the number one rule in like hair school and like being taught how to do hair. Color doesn't lift color. Um, Technically, it does sort of, but it doesn't. Okay, just listen to me. It doesn't. And then put a Target bag on my head. That's good. Putting a bag on your head when your color is processing helps keep the heat in, expanding the hair fiber, and allowing those artificial molecules to get in there and color your hair better and faster and stronger. It's quite shiny and it feels really healthy. It looks more like a dark orange on camera. In person, it looks completely different. Here's how it looks like in natural lighting. I'm still not sure what I would call this color. I would call it bronze. <coughs> I had really high expectations for the L'Oreal Paris brand products, but no, I was surprised by the Garnier hair brand. Their products are actually really good, and they didn't dehydrate my hair into raisin-like strands. It couldn't have gone much worse, except you didn't start with the roots, so that's good. We got one thing down. Next time, use bleach. Except I don't even want to say that because I just don't trust you with bleach. I I'm sorry. I'm sure you don't trust yourself with bleach either. So let's stay away from just anything with color. Maybe get it professionally done. That's a concept I have. But if you do end up um, bleaching it yourself, make sure you record it and uh, post it and make sure I, uh, 
I see it because I would love to react to it. At least you didn't end up with like the worst result. Like at least your hair wasn't bright orange and it non-fixable. Congratulations. Up next, we have Maya Jackson. This is my current hair. There's so much brown still left in it. So now I'm so pumped to get it all blonde. I did the up to nine levels lift because I have like the darkest hair ever. I have Asian hair. This is a premium developer. It smells so dirty volume, which I realize is pretty intense. We're off to a great start. We have some blonde me uh, powder lightener and 30 volume developer great combination perfect for her she might be okay but i definitely am not sure because she does have very dark hair something tells me she's not going to section things out correctly because nobody f does ever um toner this took forever to come in see this is the thing when it comes to at home hair color you guys always pick your toner before your color is finished that's complete opposite of what we do we lighten the hair and then we choose the toner to get to the end result we want based off of the result we got from the lightening process if there's more yellow in the hair we put more purple in the toner to counteract each other you know what i mean and we put a little sprinkle of this sprinkle of that to get to the end result we're looking for you guys are always picking it beforehand doesn't make any sense Sorry. So we're gonna put in one of these. Let's mix her up. This is like really satisfying. I love this like gooey consistency. Make sure when you guys are lightening your hair at home, use the consistency that she just mixed up. It should be like in between yogurt and peanut butter. Not as runny as yogurt, but not as thick as peanut butter. You want it to be on the thicker side. That way the color doesn't dry out really quick because once lightener dries out, it stops working. It's like, whoosh, goodbye, see you later. Your hair's not lifting anymore. So we gotta keep that sh moisturized they also say like don't do your roots wet right away and do it like here everybody knows not to do their roots first <laughs> i did that you know what i mean i feel like i'm putting too much in honestly can there be too much honestly no there can't be too much lightener on your hair pack it on there like just get it all over except i'm a little worried about your ends because they're already pre-lightened and i don't want them to fall off but it'll be fine thank god she's using bleach by the way because we saw what happened with the last girl so she is making her way around the head she's doing a pretty good job i will say guys let's take horizontal sections and not just take like the craziest sections ever there's not even really a sectioning method behind this we need to to take horizontal, small horizontal sections at a time. That way we know we got every single piece of hair all saturated, all perfect. The worst thing that can happen to you is you get splotchiness. Splotchiness, when you're done doing the bleaching process, is the biggest pain in the to get out. Like, it is the biggest pain in the world. It's really annoying. Cheers. I'm drinking blood. We're definitely gonna get splotchiness. <laughs> you can tell right now by the way she's applying this and kind of like just subtly like pushing it into her hair, getting it like sort of all around. I can see dry spots everywhere. This sh is not covering her entire head. That is for sure. Look at me right now. This is not cute. I'm so glad she's covering her hair with a plastic bag because that is going to help keep the heat in and it's going to be so much more effective. Like your hair is gonna actually lighten if you do that. Oh, it has started to lighten. I'm a little scared because some parts of her hair are like level 10 blonde already and now she's going with more lightener. And you can also tell that she missed like 50% of her head. We are about to see a splotchy <laughs> moment going on. No oh, way I'm not missing a bunch of spots. It's already so patchy. Oh my god, is my hair coming out? I've left on for like an hour and a half or more. But I'm gonna go shower. Okay, that's a little too much. Let's just do like 35, 40 minutes next time without the roots. And then let's leave the roots on for like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, we want the ends to be like an orange color before we start doing the roots, okay? Orange, then roots. And then you'll get a nice even result. This is currently the state of my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna put some Oplex in my hair because I really don't want it to fall out. Oh, this is way worse than I thought it was going to be. Her natural color going through her hair, as well as like a level 10 pure white blonde, and then like every color in between. It's not really a reveal <laughs> because I'm, this is not the finished reveal. No. Stay on the topic. Oh, we're doing it again. Please, hair, stay on her head. She's gonna go over those blonde pieces. Those really, really light blonde pieces. I already know it. And that she's gonna fall to the ground. Hopefully, she's only lightening the orange areas. It looks like she did the whole thing. I don't know if you're shocked by my hair. It's basically neon yellow. It looks a little bit better after round two. Just section your damn hair 
out. It'll make it so much easier for you. What do I have to do? I changed everybody when it comes to, you know, only start with the ends and not the roots. But now we have to also do the sectioning, the horizontal, beautiful sectioning, like little tiny pieces at a time. And I'm gonna be doing well at T18, which is like one that everyone uses on YouTube. And now she's doing T18, which is actually kind of fine because her hair is light enough for it. It might help those like slightly blonde parts get a little bit brighter. I mean, she's definitely gonna get a, like a splotchy result. It's gonna be all different kinds of colors all around, but it'll be better than what she has right now. And apparently for this, unlike bleach, you start at your roots because it takes to the ends a lot more. How did she miss that much in the back? <laughs> what? Your entire root area is not colored. Also, this color is permanent color, so it is going to lift those dark areas of her hair to like a red or an orange. So it's gonna develop your ends faster. What is that section? What did you do? Just go like this and then just put it up? Literally take your fingers and go right across and then put the rest of your hair up. It doesn't take that much. I don't even need you to use a tail comb. Start at roots first. I wouldn't do that. It is permanent color. So if you can see how purple it is. I think I've lathered it all over my hair now and I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> This is the finished result. Honestly, I love it. What? Okay, listen, I know for a fact it's not perfect because I saw the back of your head and I saw all the splotchiness, but how did we get here? I feel like you just played me. How did we get here? Here. How did we get this to happen? What? You look incredible blonde. This is your color. This is it. It honestly wasn't that hard considering my zero experience. It's all about not starting at the root. Like to be honest with you, that will save you like 50%. That will get you a decent result just doing that. I definitely think it's giving me an alter ego of being a dumb blonde. It's very fake. Some may say it's even trashy. The blonde looks good as hell. And I don't know how you got to that end result, but let's not make it so sketchy next time. And also, we could do it so much better next time if you just section it. That's all. And continue to live your extra life. We definitely saw some fails. They were both kind of faily. Second girl, you got an end result, but I know if I put my little hands through that hair, we would see some really crazy shit going on. Do better next time. Let's start improving with this, okay? This whole brown to blonde thing, we can do it better. Just stop being lazy. If you're like 20% off my merch, you can shop it right down below. It is on sale from now until April 30th using code YouTube20 at checkout. Everything will be down below for you. If you'd like to check out my hair care or my hair color line, we now have our new WaveTech Wave system. So if you've curly or wavy hair and you would like it to be literally the most incredible waves and curls you've ever seen in your life, shop the whole system right down below or go to xmodohair.com. You can also check out all the rest of my products on our website. For hair inspiration, check out Xmodo Hair and Xmodo Color on Instagram and check me out if you would like to see more of me. <laughs> Give this video a like if you enjoyed. That always is helpful. So thank you for that if you do it. And subscribe, do that too, that'd be cool. If you'd like to check out more videos of me, ah, here they are, do it. That's a good video. Oh, I love that video. That one was fun. This one was really good too. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>